talking all about the iOS 14 update. If you guys haven't seen, everyone has these super cool home screens now. So we jumped on the train. I'm going to be showing you guys a ton of different aesthetics to choose from. And also, I'm going to show you guys how to do it in case you guys are wondering. So let's jump into it. Reorganizing your home screen is very overwhelming at first glance, but first things first, pick an aesthetic. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the aesthetics that people have been choosing, some of the most popular ones, and of course my. Here are a couple of the home screens that you guys sent me on Instagram, and all of y'all's are so good. I was like, oh my God, y'all are so creative. And feel free to screenshot any of those if you guys had any inspiration on that. But of course, I came out with a bunch of them just for you guys. I put all of the pictures together. So if you guys want any of these aesthetics, you can click in the description down below and it'll bring you to all the pictures that I got. So right here is my home screen. I have the date at the top, a picture of my friends and I, and then a bunch of little apps that are shortcutted. So this is the next aesthetic that I put together, which is just orange, super fall. And I recommend for when you guys are choosing yours or making yours, putting like a solid background on the back because if not there's just gonna be too much going on this is the next aesthetic I put together it's just all blue I pretty much just put like a date on the top a uh, cute little butterflies and then some blue icons like I said it's super easy to put together but all of these pictures will be linked down below here is the next one I put together this one is a like city New York black and white theme so I have the Hollywood sign a to-do list and then a few more apps and widgets and of course the clock this is the next aesthetic I put together it is just a beachy super cute like very chill one we have like cute little photos we have ice cream and then we have the weather forecast on the top and I did that just to show you guys what different widgets you can put so those are some that I put together. If you guys liked any of them, they're gonna be linked down below. But let's move on to how you do that because that seems like a lot of work and let me tell you, it kind of is. Make sure to, first of all, first step is to clear your iPhone of all your apps. All you have to do to do that is go to an app you wanna clear off, hold it down and then put edit home screen, press the minus and put move to app library instead of deleting the app and that will put it over here in your big clump of apps. So now hopefully you've picked an aesthetic. So the next aesthetic we're gonna make, I'm gonna make with you guys is the 50s aesthetic. So I already picked a ton of pictures that I like to that aesthetic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one as my wallpaper and I'm just gonna put it as the home screen. Now we're gonna go ahead and start making widgets. So you're gonna need two apps to have this home screen. You're gonna need, you're gonna need widget smith and shortcut app. And pretty much this is where you're gonna make all of your widgets. So to make a medium widget, you're gonna put add widget, you're gonna click it, and this is where all the customizing comes in. So you can pick all of the times that you like, you can pick the font that you like, the tint color, and of course the background color. So for this one, we're doing 50s, so it's mostly like pinks and soft colors. I think we're gonna do the plain time for this one. This one for the 50s, because I really like that font. Then we're gonna go ahead and just pick our color. And then you're gonna click save widget. So now we're gonna go ahead and add a widget to your screen. So I already have some apps. So you're gonna click a random app and put edit home screen. And then you're gonna click on the top left where the plus sign is. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down to widget smith. Then go to the medium widgets and put add widgets. Now this one adds a random widget that I made before. So what you're gonna do is hold down edit widget and then go to the widget and click the one that you want. And our case is 11. So there it is, the time that we made. It's a little bit confusing at first, but once you get it, it's actually pretty easy. Now that we have the time on there, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more widgets. So we're gonna go back to Widget Smith and make our second widget. I'm gonna make a small widget for this one. We're gonna click the widget. We're gonna scroll down to photo and album. We pick it, save it. You go to your home screen. You edit home screen, add the plus sign, go down to Widget Smith, add a small widget, edit widget, and then click the correct one. So mine is number four. And then boom, we have the milkshake widget, which is super cute, and it definitely brings the 50s into this. So I'm gonna make another widget, yes, another widget. screen's looking like so far we've made as many widgets as we want we have three widgets already on the screen so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add the little widgets that everyone's wondering how you make those because those are actually apps so you're gonna go to the shortcut app and you're gonna click plus to make a new shortcut so this is kind of not like changing the actual icon you're just making a shortcut from the app we're gonna add an action and you can pretty much search up your app so I'm gonna go ahead and do one for photos so I'm just gonna click photos and this will, this shortcut will bring us to our photos. So now we're gonna click this little three dots at the top. We're gonna put add to home screen and then we can change the photo right there. Choose photo. And we're gonna go ahead and do this really cute record player that is super retro. We're gonna choose that. And then you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna put photos and then add to your home screen. And there you have it, you have the little photos widget, so when you click on it, it should take you to your photos. So we're gonna go ahead and add a few more shortcuts. Again, you can customize it to whatever you want. I'm gonna do this one to call my mom. So as soon as I click this, it will call my mom. 
we added call mom, so let's go ahead and test that out. Takes a little bit of a second, and we are now calling my mom. So that's pretty much the basics on how everyone is doing this, pretty much. I also wanted to throw in some other ideas in case you guys need some inspiration. First of all, you can make a widget that has a quote on it. So pretty much where I get all of this stuff. If you guys are wondering where to get these pictures, where do I get the aesthetics, go to Pinterest. You can look up quotes, you can look up Bible verses, you can look up aesthetics. Like, you can literally just search up avocado aesthetic. <laughs> And there will be a bunch of pictures of avocados so you can make your aesthetic. Another one you can make is the to-do list. So how you're going to do that is pretty much go to your reminders app that's on your iPhone and add a list. And you can title the list to-do so it'll come out saying to-do on your widget. Then go ahead and add some reminders. So let's say I have to feed the dog, bake a cake, and then subscribe to Sarah Grace. So now we have that to-do list. So now what we're going to do is go to Widgetsmith, make a new widget. And of course, whatever size you want it, we're going to do the medium one and we're going to go to reminders, click that. But instead of, you go to lists and then you click the to-do list that you want. So I'm going to put to-do, which is the one we just made. And then you can of course customize it however you want or whatever like that. Then make sure you click save on the top right. And now we'll go ahead and add it. Add, we're going to click Widget Smith. So now our to-do list that we just made is on the widget screen. Another thing that people are missing out on is stacked widgets. So on this one, as you can see, the middle one, I have stacked widgets. So I have the to-do list and then I swipe and I can see my activity on my Apple Watch. So I think that's super unique and I kind of like that. So that way I can have something aesthetic on the top and then if I really want to see, I can just swipe and see my activity. And the last tip for widgets I have for you guys is take your photos and edit them. That one sounds, seems kind of weird, but it really works. If you guys have seen my home screen, I have a picture with my friends and it really matches the aesthetic because I edited it. So, whatever app that has really good filters. So I'm gonna do this one with my friends. I'm gonna go to the filter, and then we have like a pink aesthetic, so I'm gonna go to the blush, and really just make it really pink so it matches. So now your picture that you put will match the aesthetic because it has like a pink glow to it, so it'll match my pink aesthetic. There you guys have it. There was a bunch of aesthetics that you guys can choose from. Of course, if you want new ones, go to Pinterest, but all of those will be linked down below if you liked any of them. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.